Hi, I'm Tracy Ann Hall, an automotive technology teacher who teach at Jonathan Grant High School in Spanish Town, Jamaica. I have started teaching 20 years ago. So before the pandemic, we were just a normal set of um, students, just a normal set of students with our regular activities going on. Some of the activities that we engaged in outside of class, I'll start with that one, was that we were involved in different community activities such as um, street feeding. We, we fed persons, homeless people, and we also had different projects on road safety because we had an automotive um, club that focused on road safety in Jamaica. So that was one of our major activities that we, we were doing. We also had different functions that we would go out, we would to with our students. I would also have students, um, I would also take my students on, um, to, on to some field trips. So some of these field trips would be to automotive technology shops where they would see technology, different types of technology. And, and um, we would also get, get, the students would also get an opportunity to see exactly how the automotive industry runs. When the pandemic started, um, Jamaica, um, we were affected, we started feeling the effects of it in March of 2020. So what we were, we were called by our principal, the students and teachers were called by the principal to say, you know, this is happening and we will have to take a break from school for a while. I remember distinctively that that particular day, we were having an activity in class where the students made some um, board games and they, they made up some questions based on the topic that we were doing. We were doing cooling system at the time. So they were there playing their dice, throwing their dice and they were winning and having fun. And then, you know, at that moment of fun, we were enjoying that class. We were sent home, right? And thinking that was just two weeks off, but however, turned out to be a longer period. Some of the drawbacks that we had when the pandemic started was that we didn't have a particular online platform that we would use. So for the first day um, at home, I decided that, all right, along with other teachers, we decided that we'd just use our WhatsApp because we had WhatsApp groups with our students. So I started off with a WhatsApp group and we would share YouTube videos, I would send voice notes. I would ask the students to send voice notes to me. And that's how we, we, we started off. Later on, the government um, got access to the Google platform. So we, we moved on to that. Now, automotive technology is a practical, a hands-on um, subject. So we, we faced, <laughs> you know, we're gonna face some major challenges there, not seeing our students actually having them to do the practical aspect of automotive technology. So I had to come up with some ingenious ideas along with some other teachers, you know, we, we were sharing ideas and all of that. So I decided that I would use YouTube videos, you know, go through some and see how best I can incorporate that into the class. So for example, if, if there's a video with, with, pers with, with a person pulling down an engine, explaining the parts thoroughly and, and um, explaining how to, to do some measurements and diagnose different problems, then I would use that video for that particular topic, right? So that is how we, we got a little practical somewhat in. Another, way, another thing that, that I did was to ask the students to construct, say, for example, a steering mechanism, either from plastic, cardboard, whatever they, they, they believe that they could do it. And these students videotaped themselves making the steering assembly. And that was awesome. That was an awesome practical, the, you know, and we also did um, electrical system. So the students got a chance to build a circuit board and they would explain to me in a video, you know, and, and show how their circuit board worked. So the students got a chance to do a little practical. However, um, 
when it was a little, when we, we didn't have, when we had a break in, in this in the surge in the cases that you know cases went up so we had to stay home so when we got a chance the government gave us the opportunity to go back out to school for face-to-face -face classes with the students who are going to do exams so then we would move on to our practical area so the theory was mostly done online and then when we meet face-to-face -face, we did the practical aspect of the subject no, um, for the, 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 the usual um, field trips that we had, we, we used to have, we had to change it to virtual field trips. So what I did was to make contact with automotive technology companies overseas, actually, I, I started off with. So I got a friend of mine in New York who went um, allowed us to, to get a view of what took place in, in the transit, uh, in their bus system garage, the garage that they, they, they take they service their buses. So he took us in virtually and the students got an opportunity to see what was going on. In Canada now, a friend of mine in Canada, we, we got a tour of his automotive technology workshop. So the students were very um, excited to know that, you know, these places exist and they can end up in, in, in garages overseas and not just only Jamaica. So there was, there's an, there was a positive to that for them to, to know that, yeah, it's not just Jamaica alone. And for street feeding program, we had to put that on hold. There, there were other things that we had to put on hold or usual visit to our children's home, we put that on hold. So we're hoping that as things change, as, as, as we go through this pandemic and we get to understand better how we can navigate through, then we will try to institute these projects that we had to put on hold. But all in all, we, we learned, um, there were, we, what, what, what we all learned is that, you know, we have to take charge of not, not just the students, not just the teachers alone have to take charge of what they have to do, but the students have to take charge of, and take responsibility for their own learning because a lot of times the parents leave children at home to go online for classes and that's not done. So one, one way in which I, I try to, to get my students in the online, on the, on the on, online platform is when, when class is supposed to start and I realize I only have five, out of my 20 students, I would send a message to my parent group in WhatsApp and say, parents, please ensure your students are in class. And as soon as that message is sent out, I realized that most of the students are back online. So, you know, we, we all learned that, you know, there are different ways to do things. There's not just only one way, right? So we have to be creative, you know, think outside the box. So that, that's what I did you know, to survive during this pandemic um, in terms of teaching.